We get it right. Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to a special edition of Two Growlers. Uh, right now, uh, Jason and I are out in New Jersey, and we are at Dark City Brewing. And um, we've never been here before. Uh, we actually never heard about it until just a few seconds ago. And uh, but they've got some fantastic looking beers here. We actually already got to uh, talk to the owner, uh, Kevin. Uh, a little bit about some of his beers and about the New Jersey brewing scene, and hopefully he'll be joining us a little bit later. So uh, why don't you kick back and grab a beer and join with us? Prost. Prost. So what are you drinking today, Jason? Well, the first one I started off with was the Populous. Okay. It's my favorite one. Well, not my favorite one yet, but one, <laughs> one of my one of my good ones, just because it's, co- it's coffee beer. Coffee part. I got that one yeah. later on on my list, so that one, let's see how that one goes. It, it's, it's good. I like it. It's got a great coffee taste to it. It's, this place with, with the dark um, city, they say that they like to do a lot with their sours, mm-hmm. so you kind of have a little bit of a sour taste to it, too. Okay. With that coffee, it's, it's a fantastic beer. I really like how it is. So I'm starting out with their sour wild beer. It's a 4%, uh, and it's called Summerfield. So um, as you can see here, it's a, a nice uh, hazy golden. It's got a great color to it. Getting some good smells off of it, good aromas. It's great. I mean, it tastes exactly what it, what it comes up to. It's a, it's a nice sour, kind of a green appleish sour taste to it, almost like sucking on a Jolly Rancher. So, Ooh. yeah, like a green Jeff, apple. Hey, you gotta, try this one. Gotta have those. Jolly Ranchers are awesome. Yes. Oh yeah, you definitely get that. that obviously, that sour taste to it, that summer mm-hmm. feel. Yep. Yes. It's like it, it's a perfect summer beer, I believe. This would it's not so hard on the sour. Yes, I, that's what I was just gonna say. Is that this is a good? This would be a good sour to like introduce people to Absolutely. the world of Absolutely. sours. It's yep. got that. It's got a nice weedy feel to it, but then yep. it's got that nice sourness to it. That is, it's just a great introductory sour. Yep. I mean, I just oh, can't. I agree. Yeah. I agree. So, cheers to you guys at Dark City. So, what? How was your? Uh, how was your populace? I liked it. I, I do. I like that one. You know, again, I like the coffee beers. Mm-hmm. I like the, the way that some of the brewers are exploring different things with coffee beers. Huh? And this is a perfect one because it mixes, like I said, it mixes that sour and it mixes that coffee. You know? and, and Kevin was telling us that they get their coffee and the coffee beans from the coffee shop that's just 50, 50 feet away from it. So which is really awesome. You know it's going to be very fresh and it's going to be a great coffee. You know, something you have to note there is I got the Populous too and I wrote down that it's a 6.5% uh, Porter. Now, yeah, porters do get up into that range, oh, yeah, but yeah. but we were at a place earlier today, uh, City Tavern, yes. and they had a porter that hit the seven percent mark. I'm I'm just wondering if this is an East Coast thing where uh, we're going to see some higher EBVs with our porters, or I think so. It's definitely very possible just because the way you know, kind of we've only been to two so far, but out of those two, we've been hitting the high sixes and sevens already on their porters. And that's that's awesome to see, especially since we're coming into winter. You want to get a little bit more alcohol by volume, in my, in my opinion, just to have a nice warm beer to have to drink. All right. So what do you got for number two? Uh, number two is their Bond Street Brownie. Okay. So I'm not sure what that will entail. I got Zombie Walk. This is their Pumpkin Amber. Perfect time. I got time. that later Perfect. on my, per- mine as well. Ghost. <laughs> Oh, this is good. This is good. This has got a great pumpkin spice flavor to it. Oh, okay. It's um, not too overpowering. I'm having a little trouble getting the amber out of it, but it's definitely, if you're looking for that fall pumpkin beer, this is it. Uh, So it tastes just like biting into like a fresh pumpkin pie. Nice. Nice. This is a good one. Um, Again, it says it's a Bond Street brownie. Um, It's kind of got that malty taste to it. That chocolatey, well, I guess chocolatey, but it, it's, it's good. I Can like I try it. that one? Which one is this one again? It's the Bond Street Brownie. Oh, that's good. That's roasty. Yeah, well, there it is. Yeah, roasty. I mean, yeah, just it's got a roasted yeah. caramely notes yeah. to it, so yeah. it's that's really tasty. It's been a while, folks. Got my beer lingo. <laughs> Good. Yeah, that's, that's really good. That's if you're just looking for that. You got You got What you have here is you have a great fall lineup here. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to take you guys off of us here for a second. I'm going to show you guys Jason's beer here. 
Jason has just got like the perfect fall lineup. Just those nice, dark, roasty, toasted beers. So, I went a little different. Uh -um. <clears throat> I wanted to play a little bit with their sours. Well, I heard back home it's getting ready to snow, so... Yeah, I gotta get ready. Yep. Gotta get ready to do the, for that. So, you know, so all of our friends and family back in Minnesota enjoy that snow. We won't be there for it. <laughs> Have fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what you got going on for number two? Uh, number three. Oh, number three. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, sorry. It's been.